Hey everybody, Ezor here, and in this video I'm going to show you to get all the lucky emblems for the level Arendale for the game Kingdom Hearts 3. Now these ones are kind of spread out pretty good, so you do have to do quite a bit of traveling. There's going to be a lot of battles along the way, so uh, just be prepared for that. It is a little bit of a trek for this one. You're going to start off with the very first save point. You're just going to be running towards it like you would be normally. You're going to be going towards the gorge, which is where the prison was located. You follow everything normally, it's actually going to be... Once you actually uh, run up the wall, the stone wall, where you have to go up to the next stage, there will be a little path on the side where you're able to actually like slide down, and then you can fall to a little, uh, I guess, a cliff above this little area here. So you just have to watch out for that. It's on the right-hand side, and as you get towards it, you will see there's a pine tree on the left, and then also um, you'll just see a whole bunch of spots in the area. There's a treasure chest down there as well, so make sure to grab that one, and then grab the picture of the lucky emblem. Alright, these next couple are all going to be inside of the actual prison itself. You can kind of get these in any order. Um, I'd recommend just starting off going from quickest to slowest. Actually go from the gorge save point, you will end up going to the very top of it. You'll see a spot that gets you right into it. You're on top of the tower itself. If you go down one of the pathways, you'll find a whole bunch of Heartless. The other one will actually be uh, a, a stone quarry kind of like this, where you're actually able to see the emblem on it. So go ahead and grab that picture real quick. Let's see. All right, once that's done, you actually go back to the orb where you actually came in. Um, there is a pillar, a nice pillar behind it that you actually have to spin on in order to get to the very bottom again. Spoilers, I did not know that. It took me way too long to figure that out. I didn't see it anywhere, so make sure you don't miss that like I did and waste about an extra 45 minutes looking for a way to get down. Once you're all done with that, just head back the way, the only pathway there is. Um, eventually, there will be a little jut off to the left where you'll be able to take, um, and that's so you can keep going... The normal way you can go up the stairs, or you can take a left. It's like a little enclosure. You actually have to break the ice. Then you'll find a whole bunch of uh, nobodies in this area. And on top of the bridge will be the next emblem. Let's see. I'll help you find All right, from that, I would actually go back to the top part of it where you came into originally, and then go to this next crystal and uh, or this little, this little pillar or whatever. It's going to bring you down to the middle tiers. Yeah. And here's where the next two are going to be. Once you get to this tier, just follow the only pathway across. You will have to go across the line again and uh, kill the Heartless that show up. Then eventually you'll come up some stairs and then you can go to the right. You will see like a, um, a bridge, so to speak, or you can jump over it or whatever. And the right-hand side is going to be the actual emblem itself. So just make sure to grab that real quick. And then I would actually just jump to the bottom because it's going to take you right to this waypoint here. So um, that way you can just leave right away. So again, your call, this is actually going to be in the only waypoint in the Lysat Labyrinth. So you can actually start this way, work your way back. Or you can just jump over the edge from the last one and get there just fine. I go to the North Ridge where the Ice Palace itself is. If you take the pathway back and you go down all across a couple of clips, you will see it at the very bottom one. If you end up falling too far, you just run up the ledge again and you'll be back to it in no time. After that, go back to where it was. Uh, if on the right-hand side, there will be a little um, cave entrance. If you go through there, you'll end up coming back to this area. And this one is going to be right at the end of the snow drifts. Now this one following it took me a little bit to figure out because I kept saying it was one around here. Um, it's actually going to be on a little bit of a, uh, I guess, a platform that's kind of hidden. So I would actually recommend running all the way to the top and getting on one platform. And then you can actually jump down and you'll see another platform below it. You can actually run to this one, but you need to get on this one in order to be able to get the lucky emblem. As you see here, you can see it kind of from the very bottom, but it's still kind of hidden a little bit. So um, just make sure to run to that one in particular. And like I said, I just would go to the top one and then jump your way down. Next one up is going to be at the snowfield. Just make your way back. The only trail that's going to be possible right now 
When you get to the bottom here, there will be some Heartless, but uh, if you slam the ground, you should be able to kill all of them. I think I missed one, but you should be able to get them all in one hit. After that, there's going to be another um, cliff side that you can actually run up it, so I would run up that one. And then if you look across the way, you'll be able to see it. You can either work your way back to this big open area, or you can uh, teleport to the save point, the very last save point here. When you get to this one, just work your way back until you get to the open field, and then you'll actually end up seeing a stack of logs, and if you run to the front of it, or the one side of it, you'll be able to see the lucky emblem there. Last one's going to be a little bit past the save point, which is the last one for the level. Once you uh, keep going, this is going to be where the blizzard's blowing really bad and you have to go from rock to rock to rock. If you look at the very last one, um, before you go through the little pathway, you will find the last lucky emblem. So, And there you have it. That's all the lucky emblems for this particular stage. So uh, hopefully the video helped it out. If it did, go ahead and give it a like. If you like other video game related content, that's kind of what I do, so consider subscribing. I am making a playlist for each level for the lucky emblem, so if you're looking for a specific one, check that out. I probably already have it done. Thank you all for watching. I've been Ezor. Until next time, keep your story going.